Here we see the BSA A65 engine that I refer to as the oil tap engine coming back together and it's nearing completion. I've just got to build up the time inside and uh, fit the push rods, rockers etc. Everything else is back together now. But I thought that in view of the fact that obviously someone had fitted an oil tap to the oil tank and the fact that the uh, the owner ran the engine with the oil tap switched off and did some damage I better in view of all that at least take a look at the oil pump so that's what I've done I've got here got the oil pump all in bits it's a cast iron type and the very fact that someone must have took it upon themselves to fit an oil tap would be to prevent wet sumping which would suggest to me a worn oil pump and sure enough it's not damaged let's not confuse wear with damage but um, there's a bit of play let's see if I can do this get that in there so there are the gears from the scavenge side and whether the camera will pick that up I don't know where I can sort of rock or wobble that gear a little it's not a great deal but there is there's just a bit of play on that one there so I think this oil pump, although it's not completely shot, perhaps, has probably done a few miles. And now is the time, should the owner wish, to perhaps replace it. Also, that spindle there, I can rock that quite a bit in the housing. So there's going to be sort of leak by between the scavenge side and the feed side. Talking of the feed side, here it is. I'm not sure if I've necessarily got these gears the right way around at the moment, but it doesn't matter just to demonstrate this. Put that in there. We've got, obviously, that rock or wobble on that floating spindle is still present on the, uh, the pressure side. And I can also wobble the gears on the pressure side in the housing a little. There's no scoring. No scoring at all, just wear, like I say, it's obviously perhaps done a few miles, that gear, I'll have to get that one out in my magnet actually, that's stiction from the oil holding that in, rather than it being a close fit in the housing, there is play between it and the housing, whether we can see, like I say, the housing looks fine. There's no gouges or marks or anything. There's just, just wear. And the same goes, hopefully we can see, for the pressure or delivery side. But it's time to speak to the owner, obviously, and see if he'd like me to try and get a new oil pump to put in there. Because obviously we've got a good crank on minus 20. We've got new con rods special con rods, we've got new big end shells, um, the bores, pistons, rings were all in good shape, the valves and guides were as well. It would be a shame really to put this back in and still probably have to rely on the oil tap. Um, if it was my engine I'd want a new oil pump in there and I'd probably do away with the oil tap as well because I'm pretty sure a new oil pump would render that tap redundant. Not that I'd ever have a tap fitted in any case, but uh, that's by the by. Someone's already done that. So, uh, a new oil pump, I think, would be a good idea. So I'll speak to the owner and see if he agrees. And that's where we are with it at the moment.